At Part Select, we not only sell parts, we provide tools for success at every stage of the repair. To visit our website and get expert help from our technicians, click on the link in the description below. Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to talk to you about how to unclog the pump on your direct drive washer. It is possible for items that are in your wash tub to get down through either the holes through the side of the tub or out over the top edge and in between the two tubs. They'll eventually work their way down into the pump and may either stop the pump from turning or restrict the water flow. Now you can remove the cabinet on this style of washer or you can lay it on its back to access the pump. Once you've accessed the pump, you'll note that there is a large port that sits on the top and a smaller one on the bottom. The smaller one is the outlet port and the top one is the inlet port that has a short hose that goes right up to the bottom of the outer tub. Any items that may be stuck in that pump are typically going to be on the inlet port. Now with the pump completely removed off of the drive motor, it's easy to access the drive impeller from the back. I just put a pair of pliers in it and you can turn that impeller in the opposite direction and maybe allow you to get a pair of needle nose pliers inside to pull out any items that may be restricting it. If the item has gotten all the way around that impeller or damaged it beyond repair, it's very simple at that point to just replace the pump. Now with the front removed from the washer, you have easy access to that pump. So your first step in trying to determine if there's something actually caught in that pump would be to remove this tub to pump hose. And of course there will be some water in that hose, you'll need something to collect that. And just using a pair of pliers, you would compress that spring clamp, slide it up the hose, and pull it off. You may find something directly at the input to that pump. If not, you can remove the lower clamp and drain hose to see if there's something caught in the outlet of the pump. Now if you find it difficult to get at either of those areas with the pump attached to the motor, it's very easy to remove it. You simply pop these two spring clips off, choose a flat blade screwdriver, release the spring clips, and you can slide the pump completely off and access it or remove it completely. Now if you've determined that there is nothing caught on the, either the inlet or outlet of the pump, nothing caught inside of it, and the drain hose is clear, there's one other area that may be restricting water flow to that pump, and that would be the outlet from the outer tub to this tub to pump hose. So you would simply remove that clamp at the top, pull that hose down, and inspect either the outlet from the tub or the hose itself to make sure that there's nothing caught into it. Once you've found the source of your clog, be it in the inlet hose, outlet hose, or pump, you can then reassemble the washer. I hope we've helped you with your repair. Let us know what you think by hitting the thumbs up button below and click on subscribe so you never miss a new video.